So this fella here, as you can see, all bandaged up. He's not so good. He's got his bad arthritis at the back, but he's got a wound on this leg as well. So he is not doing so good. And so instead today, because we normally bake treats for Chris and for Chris's friends at work, we're not baking for them. We're baking for this fella. And, oi, Stinky, Tinkerbell, come here. And this little one, say hi. Say hi to the people. Like and subscribe if you like Tink. So this is Tinkerbell. And this is Archie. And these guys are gonna get some baked treats today. Look at that face. Look at him, isn't he gorgeous? He's such a good boy and she's just very demanding. So the recipe is made with lovely dog friendly ingredients. Now, this is oat flour. So this is just over a cup of oats that I just popped in my smoothie maker. You do it in food processor or um, stand mixer, you know, not stand mixer, you know, anything with a chopping, good chopping blade in it. Um, it was just over a cup of oats made a cup of the flour, then half a cup of it can be peanut but um, it can be butternut squash it can be other kinds of squash it can be sweet potato and then we've got a quarter cup of peanut butter so half of that half of that basically uh, peanut butter I've just used this brand because I know literally the only ingredient is peanuts that's all you want there to be on there um, some of the cheaper brands have things like an, and I think it's xylitol really really bad for your dog don't go near it at all so i'm going to go in first with my sweet squash this is my blue hubbard squash that i was given um i think i'm going to go for this spatula because it's quite a tough one and then in with the peanut butter we've been using this peanut butter quite a bit lately because it's a way of getting medication into Archie so he has a little mini peanut butter sandwich with his tablet hidden inside so he quite likes that so I'm just going to mix these really well together now I can imagine this is going to make quite a wet mixture to start with because my squash is quite wet it was frozen so I did pop it in a sieve while it was defrosting just so it, it um Drained out some of the moisture. Going to go in with our flour. And again, just mix really, really well until we make a dough ball. Hopefully not too sticky. Now I went into my baking box that I've got to find cutters. And I forgot that I'd got rid of all my old cutters that I used to have that were all the really cute shapes. I um, put them on Facebook Marketplace and got rid of them because generally I don't need to cut things into the shape of stars and all sorts of different things anymore. So I got rid of them. Oh, but never mind. So I have got just a standard cutter. This is the smallest one I've got, which is about six, seven centimetres across, roughly. But I think I could just do these in squares or oblongs, which I think is what I might as well do, because then I'm not messing around rolling and folding and rolling and, you know, messing around doing all that. So, what I'm going to do is just give my hand a little wipe. I'm going to get some parchment paper. There we go. It's probably far more than I need. Dump out that. And then squash it down using the parchment. See if I can make it into a rough, squarish shape. Because then it'll be easier to cut without messing about. There we go. Right, let's see if we can roll this and see how it comes out. So we don't want them too thin, but we don't want them too 
thick. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for about just under half a centimetre thickness. Whoop. I think I'm spooking over the edge there. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trim that edge off. Save that for a minute. Sort this piece out first and then sort the rest of that out. So, there we go. That's not too bad. Oh, a little bit fat there. Need to feel this better. A little bit more on that side. Alright, we've got our buff shape. Just put that out of the way. Trim off the excess. There we go. And just make these nice and same sort of size. These are going to go in the oven at about 160 for about 12 minutes because I don't want them too crunchy for them. I want them relatively soft. So yeah, we'll trim there. And we'll do a little second batch. Okay, so if we go halves. And then thirds. There we go. Just going to put these on the baking tray. I'm going to put my silicon mat down so it just makes life a bit easier so it doesn't require messing around with difficulty trying to get them off. So let's pop that there. Pop those there, get a little spatula and place them on. Here we go, we got quite a few out of that mixture. So what we got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, maybe 50 in total. And I've got to be honest, I did bite into one and try it myself. They're all right. <laughs> it'd be an all right cracker it's all human ingredients so i thought anyway give it a go so i'm going to get a couple of these and go and see what the big lad and the little girl think of them so we're going to so here we go here he is me and him i've got him a treat oh what's this what do you want to try you want to see <gasps> oh oh I think he's liking. I think he's liking it. We have success. Stinky, you want one? I call she's called Stinky. Her real name's Tinkerbell, but we call her Stinky because you know, or Tink or Stink. Come on, do you want it? Come on, get it. Do you want it? Here she is. She's up here. You see her? There you go. Oh, she's gone. Yeah, she's she's run off to the other side of the living room on the sofa to go and have one so there we go <laughs> biscuits for the dogs an alternative bake for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed having a bit of a more of a meet with this gorgeous let's zoom in on him he should be the last thing Whoop! the last thing that you see in the video say hi archie look at that gorgeous face he's beautiful isn't he 15 doesn't look a day over three thanks for watching Please do the liking and definitely the subscribing. Oh, here's the other trouble. <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Say bye. Say bye.